Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I was reminded of this old, old song that sometimes when I'm speaking to children, I teach it to them or they know it already and the boys sing it and the girls sing it and they are going back and forth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I was reading in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice evermore. 17 pray without ceasing and 18 in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you today as i was thinking um that there's so much changing in our lives so much going on and when i was talking to friends of mine in lebanon they were inside the house and they said they are in lockdown till the 25th of january they can't even get out of the house to go to the grocery store or go out visit a friend or a neighbor or whatever they were in lockdown and then i was thinking to uh, i was talking to a friend on facetime in germany and i was so thankful because she was home from the hospital from surgery and that was a answer to prayer but at the same time we were thankful yes that she has come home but she has to continue with therapy and she's still in pain and so much going on there and then another cousin of mine that was in the hospital sarah and so many people prayed for her she is home with her husband and her family and i was so excited when she wrote it was so good to sleep in my own bed tonight and we were praying yes and now she has gone home yes there is a road ahead because some things we think when the answer comes that's it that's it no we get sick again we have to run to the lord we have to pray about everything but the lord says rejoice because this morning as we i was listening to our prayer time and joining in we are in 21 days of prayer and this morning the word of the lord in the song from the first moment the worship song was god you reign above it all you reign r-e-i-g-n reign he reigns he is king of kings nothing changes and we can run to him with our prayers and we can rejoice in that he is in control of our lives of our days and every moment of our breathing and when i was in chapter 19 of joshua here it says these are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided. And then it says, so they made an end of dividing the country. So now they have an inheritance, they've settled, everyone has gone to where they were supposed to go after traveling of 40 years and it says almost 45 years it took by the time they were all settled in and i would think or you would think this is it we won't hear about them anymore no until today they are still so many situations they are struggling with and there's happening and this and that and that so life goes on the only sure thing we have is our lord jesus christ that for god so loved the world he gave his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, give us eternal life. So that will never change. Once we have eternal life, we have eternal life. Even if you wake up this morning, life has changed. Your eternal hope and glory is still the same. It's still in Jesus Christ. Because I said, we have an inheritance. Let's find out about our inheritance that is sure and it's unchanging and i went to ephesians chapter one and it says in verse three blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places according as he has chosen us in him 
And he wants us to be holy, to be blameless before him in love. And then it says, we are adopted as the children by Jesus Christ to himself unto his good pleasure. And then when I went down to verse 8, wherein he has abounded towards us all wisdom and prudence, which was understanding. He has given us all these things. And so we know that we have a sure inheritance in Christ Jesus, because it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And when I went to First John chapter 3 and verse 1, and it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. So we know we have eternal life. We know we have, um, we are sons now to God. We are the children of the Lord. And then we also are blessed with all spiritual blessings. And it says in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, we are adopted. We also have an inheritance because we are accepted in the beloved in Jesus Christ. And I just love that. And in verse 11, it uses that word, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. So you and I have an inheritance. We are called the children of the Lord, and that will never change, my friend. Be blessed in the Lord today.